short story, Mallory. All right, well, Darren Waldron police confirmed they caught one of the suspects. He's here at the Scott County Jail on burglary and theft charges. Now, one of the, the second suspect, though, is still on the run. Tonight, we spoke with the boy who helped out. He said he would definitely do it all over again. Okay. Oh, Damon watches his grandson and some friends <laughs> right before we learned this afternoon. Tuesday, they headed to Boonville. The neighbor, 12-year-old Jerry Hopper, came to play. Newman and his grandson weren't home. Jerry says he found two strangers inside. What went through your mind? Shoot him. Jerry confronted the people inside. What he sprang into action. I walked in the house and there was a guy in his room about to go out the door. And I grabbed a gun beside the door. Jerry says he hit one of the suspects in between the Samantha. Legs. Most grown-ups wouldn't have done that. I mean, I don't know very many that would. Because they just walk by and say, it's not none of my problem. Newman says this is the fourth time over the past year he's been burglarized. He's thankful Jerry didn't get injured. That little kid, he, I don't know what caused him to do it, but he did. We said, I didn't like your house being broke into. Once the suspects left, Jerry says he called 911. When he told his mom what happened, she couldn't believe it. She said, really? And she kept on asking me the same question. She didn't blame me. Now, the police department told us they were able to recover some of the items taken from the home. Reporting live in Waldron, Mallory Cook, 5 News. All right, Mallory, thanks. Great story. Jerry's mom, by the way, says she's just happy her son is okay. The Fayetteville Mail 